Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. This is Reality. What do you do? How you doing? Now, uh, I just want to uh, do a real quick piping hot tea. It is time. It is time. It is time. And then I'm going to be doing uh, recaps. The plan is to do recaps, right? But, 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 there is a but. If some more tea drops, I'll be dropping the tea. How about that? But let's get right on into the tea. Let's do some uh, RIPs. Let's get those out of the way. Um, Rich Homie Quad. Quad? Did I say Quad? Slip of the tongue because I'm about to say something about Miss Quad. Miss Quad. She got it. She got it. Now, back to the tea. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell button. And you'll be notified when I upload a video. Now, everything in this video is alleged in my opinion. Except for the devils. Because we do know that they are very real. <laughs> okay? So, um, he's dead at 34. He was a rapper at, from Atlanta. And um, it is being speculated and alleged. See, that's the alleged part that... It was indeed a drug overdose, okay? Um, in the next topic that I'm going to discuss, I got this from Empress Radio. Also, she got it from TMZ, but, you know, um, I got to cite my sources, so I'm going to tell where I actually got it from. So, here's the deal. Um, it is being reported that my girl... Kiki's cause of death was actually the carbon monoxide poisoning, okay? Um, but it also is being alleged that she did have some uh, prescription drugs in her system. Um, I definitely was hoping that wasn't the case. Because I know she did work hard to get clean. I'm not going to talk about this in a long, drawn-out way. R.I.P. to Kiki. I am still a fan, and I was a fan. And I cannot be um, judgmental of a person who I believe was definitely fighting her demons and was really actually trying to uh get clean i believe she was actually trying to get clean that's my personal opinion i can believe what i want to do and what people have to understand about addiction it's not something that you can do overnight and you know getting on national tv i realize now even though she wanted to be on tv it probably wasn't the best decision to do in her fragile state at that particular time but i'll say but on that i do believe that she was clean but at the same time um the pressures of tv and then the pressures of um you know getting terminated from the, the show it probably sent her back to that area i don't think it was a thing where she was currently using. I, and then it might have been a situation where she felt pain. When people are addicted, addicted to prescription drugs, they have a tendency to actually feel pain. Even though that may not be the case. If you have not had a back injury, <laughs> my back injury, people... And survivors understand what I mean. That house stuff do not work. My sister um, is going through that right now. Um, she only has Norco. And I'm not advertising Norco, but that's what she uses. And trust me when I tell you, <laughs> the stuff wears off like quickly. She's had several surgeries. She has stimulator in her back. And she still experiences pain. Now, me, I had an epidural, but I had two children in my 40s. 
So I experienced a lot of pelvic pain, you know, associated with that and back pain. And baby, when I tell you sometimes I just want to get up and scream. (laughs) So I said all that to say that I know it's a struggle. And and, uh, if you experience back pain, it's something that never goes away. And getting addicted to prescriptions, painkillers, I can see. (laughs) I definitely understand that. But, you know, every day with that, um, as far as I go, I know I just take an aspirin. And then after the aspirin does it just a little bit, I just go ahead and bear with it. And my sister, um, she does goody powder and or uh bc but i'm telling you that only lasts maybe about an hour you're trying to you know feel better basically it's not something that is those those prescription um they they uh it's not like with uh you know a headache that type of back pain or that type of pain that you have after injury after an accident is extremely intense. And I watch my sister go through it every day. So I know, and I definitely understand, but, uh, moving right along again, it is being reported that, uh, rich homie Kwan is deceased at the age of 34. Same thing with Kiki it has been reported that she also had prescription drugs in her system, also associated with 64% of carbon monoxide poisoning. Or I peed to both those people. Move right along. Let's get into some mess, okay? Now, <laughs> I was minding my business over there and I was watching Chit Chat with QT. And what did I see? A uh, possibly pregnant quadrilla. Lunsford. Is the web Lunsford? What is the quadrilla web? I don't want to call her Dr. G's name. So what is her new name? I'm just going to call her Miss Quiet because... I don't want to, you know, step on anybody's toes. You know how people love about Melody when you call her Hope. So, I don't want to do that. But, um, it's, uh, I don't know, Chit Chat QT, she was looking kind of swollen, y'all. So, she could possibly have a bun in the oven if that is the case. Congratulations, Miss Quad, Miss Quad. She got it. She got it. Now, I can't believe that Quad wanted children. Everybody believed that Quad was so selfish that she didn't want children with Dr. G. That was a toxic relationship. It's, it, I, I think she made the best decision for her. She's still in her early 40s. And I've told everybody since I had my children in my 40s, hey, hey, as long as you get in your cycle, it ain't too late. And more mess. And more messy news. It has also been reported that Jennifer Williams, fiance from Basketball Wise, has been deterred, darling. It's because he's thumbing his nose at the law, according to reports. And people are tired of Christian, okay? The judges are tired of Christian, okay? You are on probation. You could have served 10 years. But you want to gallivant your little high yellow ass all around the damn United States and abroad. Like you don't have a responsibility to report these things to your probation officer. Where they do that at? In Jennifer's world. She's not teaching you anything. Now I'm not saying that everything that you did you didn't want to do. Because you have tacked on to a very rich woman <laughs> and you, my dear, in my opinion, are a scammer. And that's what scammers do. They like to travel. 
But unlike Simon Gubadi, yada, 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 you, my dear, are on probation. Okay, that's the difference. You can't be like Simon. <laughs> okay? You going to jail. <laughs> you got arrested. And he was sentenced to 15 days in jail, but they are going to allow him to walk down the aisle with Jennifer Williams. So sad, poor Jennifer. Jennifer, I want it better for you, dear. I want it better for you. You can do better. What the hell? Girl, when you get in love, it ain't nothing that, that the people could do about it. This man is is I can see it in that whispery raspy voice of his. He is no good. Anytime a man talks with that grasp, I have to look at him with a side eye. <laughs> okay. And you said that the Lord sent him to you and the, the Lord told you that this was the man for you. Girl, bye. The Lord ain't told you that. I don't believe that. For one, I Yoda of a second. Your gut should be telling you. When you can't, you, Jennifer Williams, cannot tell what this man does for a living or explain what he does for a living. I'm smelling gin shot. Anybody smelling gin shot? Because even. Her husband of 25 years could not tell you what she actually did for a law, for uh, a lit, other than being on the Real Housewives of SLC. You have to keep your good eye on people that can't explain what they actually do. And baby, I don't care what you say. When I saw him on the Carlos King interview, that fairly a further. Did I say Furley? <laughs> Was I thinking of Mr. Furley for three scumps? Child, no. Um, that further incriminated him to me. To me. To me. My man. Okay. Um, by the way, uh, speaking of young scammers, uh, let JR a little bit, you know, he he's an attorney. He's certified attorney. The one that's, you know, married to Tamar that's currently getting a divorce from Tamar. Um, it's giving scammer teas as well. And I think that they know that these women are vulnerable. These men that we see out here on social media, the men that no longer, that were once unknown. And Simon Gubadi yeah, 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 is in this too. And they see rich women. And then they give you all these women the perception that they are also rich. Now, I'm going to tell you this now, Jennifer. No, you know you lied because it is being reported that your net worth is $25 million. You said that man has $6 million. Mm, that is definitely not balancing the scale. Somebody has more money than the uh, uh. Okay. And it's one thing I learned for Brooke Ashley over there down to the Brooke Ashley show. <laughs> Brooke say, if you're going to marry a man with less than what you got as a woman, because I, Brooke says all the time, I don't believe, I don't believe, I don't believe that you should marry someone less than what you have. But if you do, I always do the candy burgers. Right? And the only assets that you are able to gain is the assets that you collect during the marriage. You cannot repeat, cannot have anything that I had <laughs> prior to the marriage. And if you really want to know the truth, I don't think that Christian will contribute anything to this marriage. Okay? Other than debt and heartache and uh, uh, bills, 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 and a criminal record. Child, bye. Ooh, Jennifer. Ooh, Jennifer. 
so naive. But anyway, she's a grown ass woman. I'm gonna move on from that and close this piping hot tea dog. Come on in, come on in. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. It's good over here. I only need about 300 views to get monetized. Help your girl out. And besides all that, I do report good piping hot tea and Regardless as to what you think and in regards to the views that are on my videos for recaps. Guess what? I do good recaps as well. And I'm going to pat myself on the back. Okay? So like I said, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell button. You will be notified when I upload a video. Like I said, it is good over here. And entertainment. And that's what you come to YouTube for. Not just to be notified or given knowledge. You want to be entertained when you're given knowledge or gossip. Okay. <laughs> and as I do when I close, I'm going to chunk them up.